okay guys welcome you all in the next section in this section we will talk about sql injection first of all introduction of the sql injection <clears throat> sql injection is a code injection technique used to attack data driven applications in which malicious sql statements are inserted into an entry field for execution for example to dump the database contents to the attacker <coughs> sql injection must exploit a security vulnerability in an application software for example when user input is either incorrectly filtered or for string literal escape characters embedded in sql statements or user input is not strongly typed and unexpectedly executed SQL injection is mostly known as an attack vector for websites but can be used to attack any type of SQL. Now the, what are the different types of the SQL injection? <clears throat> SQL injections can be classified and categorized in different ways based on the types of data extraction channel, the response received from server However, server uh, responses aid in leveraging in the successful exploitation impact point. For example, if we check this based on the data extraction channel, then there are two types of SQL injection. Number one is in band or in line, and the other is out of band. SQL injection that uses the same communication channel as input to dump the information back or called in band or in line SQL injection. This is one of the most common methods readily explained on the internet in different posts. For example, a query parameter if injectable needs to the dumping of info on the web page, injections that use the secondary or different communication channel to dump the output of the queries performed via the input channel or referred to as an out of band SQL injection. For example, the SQL injection is made to a web application and a secondary channel such as DNS queries is used to dump the data back to the attacker domain. Now based on the response received from the server, there are also two different types. Number one is error based SQL injection. It has also two main subtypes like as union query type and the double query injection. The second main type is blind SQL injection. It has also two subcategories like as boolean based blind SQL injection, time based blind SQL injection. Error based SQL injections are primarily those in which the SQL server dumps some error backs to the user via the web application. This error aids in successful exploitation. Blind SQL injection are those injections in which the backend database reacts to the input, but somehow the errors are concealed by the web application and not displayed to the end users, or the output is not dumped directly to the screen. Therefore, the name blind comes from the fact that the injector is blindly injected using some calculated assumptions in the tries. Now, the main uh, definition of the blind SQL injection is also here. Blind SQL injection is used when a web application is vulnerable to an SQL injection, but the result of the injection are not visible to the attacker. The page with the vulnerability may not be one that displays data, but will display differently depending on the results of a logical statement injected into the legitimate SQL statements. Call for that page. This type of attack can become time intensive because a new statement must be crafted for each bit recovered. There are several tools that can automate these attacks once the location of the vulnerability and the target information has been established. Now, based on how the input is treated in SQL in query injection, what data type? It has two main types string based and numeric or integer based based on how the input parameters would be treated in the backend sql query an injection can be classified as string or 
injector based the other is based on the degree or order of injection where the impact happens first one is first order injections and the other is second order injections the degree or the order of injection identifies the way in which the injection yields the output if the injection directly delivers the result it is considered to be a first order injection but if the injection input yields no successful result in the extraction but instead impacts some other results which the attacker can take advantages of on some other place page it is called a second order injection consider second order injection similar to stored xss injection where the input is stored in the application and later on rendered on some other page thereby impacting that page indirectly because of the initial malicious inputs based on the injection point location three main fields injection through user input from fields injection through cookies or injection through server variables like as headers based injection so this was all about the sql injection generally when an application is communicating with the backend database it does so in the form of queries with the help of an underlying database driver this driver is dependent on the application platform being used and the type of backend database such as mysql ms sql db2 or oracle then a generic login query would look something like as select column 1 or column 2 or column 3 we can separate this query into many types so when we want to inject the sql injection so in the next video we will talk about that how we can inject some codes and how we can do the sql injection thank you for watching this video